going on, guys? This is Bruce Matson, your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football, the show where we talk all things fantasy football, redraft, Devi, dynasty, all of it. We could talk about all of it. If that's something you're interested to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm getting into some more pro day action. And I just want to talk about these running backs real quick. It's been a very deplorable running back class. It's been bad. It's been putrid. I feel like I feel like I'm a counselor at a fat camp. And my fat kids that I'm counseling are all these running backs in this 2021 running back class. And they keep trying to pull pranks on me. Like they wake up in the middle of the night and they run a slow 40 to the convenience store to get some ho-hos or at lunch they're doing a really ridiculously low vertical jump just uh get up to the top shelf to get a bag of chips and it just keeps happening they keep pulling these stunts on me and yesterday we had a stunt pulled by jamar jefferson and it was probably the most upsetting pro day of them all and I just had one about Rashad Bateman, how it let the air out of my sails. And it wasn't even that bad. It's just I love Rashad Bateman so much. But Jamar Johnson, it was called Jamar Johnson on um, Jim Nagy's tweet. Jamar Jefferson. Woo! That's bad. What, 5'10", 206, ran a 4'5", 5'40", yard dash, 4'5", 7". And then if you adjust those those numbers... 0.05, what however you do it, that's like 4'6 guy. He's the 4'6 guy. If this is true, then true numbers in 455, it's still bad. It, I mean, guaranteed it's not faster than that. They don't really time you up. They time you down to look faster. That's not good. And then his vertical jump is 31 inches. That is low. That is not good. Average is around like 34 to 36 range and 38 the 40 is good and anything above 40 is elite 31 is bad and I knew this was coming up this time last year they had the mock pro day for Oregon State and he took part of it and um, the top five guys at Oregon State they had their verticals listed and the bottom guy had 35 inches so I knew he was around 35 or less so that doesn't surprise me it's just kind of concerning that it's 31 inches pretty bad another thing about that is in that article when they talk about the mock pro day from last year they did not talk about his 40 he's one of the star players on the team he participated not i don't know if he didn't run it but they didn't talk about it his broad jump's pretty bad nine foot seven inches and then he has the dk metcalf three count so this guy went with the trifecta box here he failed the 40 he failed the vertical jump and then he failed a three count. He did barely good enough on his size with 5'10", 206. He's got the size of a change of pace back in a committee. And usually those guys, you want some speed, more pass catching prowess. 5'10", 206. All right. He's slow. 4'5", 5'5", 4'5", 7'4", dash, no burst, 31 inch vertical, 9'7", broad jump. And then the DK Metcalf. 7.38 second three count. That is horrific that is bad that is bad i like i'm i can't even drop him really in my ranks because this running back class is so bad that it, it doesn't even matter really like it doesn't matter like we just get slow running back slow running back slow running back um we got running backs that have some good things on tape they show good vision um they they plow through guys they're good catching the ball in the backfield. And then they have this one glaring red flag. All of them do. From Najee Harris to ETN, all the way down to the bottom of the back. All of them. They, they have this trait that looks really good on film. And then they have this one big glaring red flag. Najee Harris, speed. Javante Williams, speed. Travis ETN, bad tape this year. Looked funny build-wise at his pro day. Wasn't... In the four threes like we were expecting. And on down the line, Jamar Jefferson had decent tape, good production numbers, failed the combine. And the list goes on and on and on and on. And it's just been a woeful, woeful running back class. I'm not excited. So how I'm really going to play this running back class is I'm just going to act like, what, the Josh Jacobs year, whatever, that 18, 19, whatever, and... Focus on my receivers. That year, I was doubling up on DK Metcalf, AJ Brown. Unfortunately, you kill Harry. And uh, but I was getting a lot more DK Metcalf and AJ Brown. AJ Brown was falling to the later part of the first 
round of rookie drafts, I was just paying up for him, and that, that worked out for me. I'm glad I got him over those running backs, and that's what I'm going to be doing this year is just going off on them wide receivers. Diami Brown is the cutoff point for me in the second round. I imagine he may fall to the third round some drafts, but I'm going to be paying up. It's going to be second round, mid-second-ish, depending unless he falls in the real draft, but that's going to be a cutoff point for me when I start looking for other positions. I'm not neglecting the running back spot. Like I'm interested in Najee Harris and Travis Etienne and Javante Williams, but I'm going to be paying for them at cost or below cost, and I'm more interested in Jamar Chase. I'm more interested in the receivers, and really depends on the – Draft capital of the receivers as well. I feel like that's where the value is going to be at. You, it's the strength of the class. Uh, running back's not the strength of this class. You want to attack the class by its strength. And the strength this year is wide receiver, Kyle Pitts, <laughs> quarterbacks. So, um, yeah. And I also like Brevin Jordan, Fairmuth, Long, the, the, the tight ends as well in the later parts. So, this is a good tight end class too. I was just kind of joking about the Kyle Pitts thing. Don't want you to take me serious. But, yeah, Jamar Jefferson, piss poor. He is the class clown at Fat Camp, and he's on my shit list right now. Thank you guys for watching this video, following along. Click that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your homies, and I'll catch you next time.